Hi, I'm um, hi, I'm Simon Champion. I'm from Tutor Online. Um, I'm a professional trainer and internet entrepreneur. Um, just a very quick introduction. Um, I've been delivering hundreds of WebEx sessions over the past couple of years, but I thought now that Google Hangouts is um, up and running, I thought I'd start to um, deliver some sessions using the Google Hangouts. Um, and what I thought I'd do over the next few weeks is I would um, uh, deliver some quick tips for beginners. Okay, And as I do training for lots of different software applications, um, I thought what I'd do is I would start off by giving you some quick tips for WordPress. And also, what I'm planning to do in the next few weeks is to actually put up uh, put together a WordPress training session for beginners as well. So, if you want to get involved, the training's free. Um, I've got a, a registration page at www.webtrafficgenerator.co.uk. Okay, uh, and what you can do is you can go there and you can put your name and email address in there. And what I can do then is send out an email to you and let you know when I'm doing another quick. Um, tip or hangout or a training session. As I say, they're free at the moment. So if you want to join me, I'd really like to see you. So today's tutor online hangout quick tip is how to schedule your blog posts. So if you just bear me a second, I'm just going to go and transfer across to um, my blog post that I've set up um, for demonstration purposes. So right, so we've got here our um, demo blog okay um, and I've put together a post here purely for demonstration purposes so what I would have done is I would have come into the dashboard area okay and I would have clicked on add new for the posts or add new for the pages doesn't matter it's the process is exactly the same now let's pretend um, we've got our blog post we've got um, visitors coming to our site we've got half a dozen posts or pages we want to make available but obviously we don't want to make it available immediately we want to uh, stagger that um, those pages over a period of time so I've got my post here. If you notice on the right hand side we've got a publish session. Publish so I can't speak this morning. Publish section. Okay? And you'll find that in one of the sections there you've got publish immediately and an edit link. So if I click on that edit link, notice what we have here is we have a date and time area that I can change the date and time in which this post is going to be published. So I can select which month. So I can do it well, you know, months in advance. Okay. I can just change it so let's pretend we it's the 9th of June today let's pretend we want to deliver it on the 11th um, I know 10 o'clock in the morning okay so we change that date time there notice at the moment this publish button um, if I was to click on the publish button now this post would be published immediately obviously this is demonstration purposes so um, pretty pointless but obviously I'm just giving you a demonstration here so um, I can either publish it immediately or now I've set up this date here once I click on the OK button, notice this button changes to Schedule. Okay, And now, when I click on Schedule, it means this post will be um, published on the um, date that I've set up here, so the 11th of June 2013 at 10 o'clock. At any time before that date, I can go back into the Edit section there, and I can change that, or I can go back and cancel it and make sure I can publish it straight away. So, that's my quick tip for today. Okay. Um, as I say, I'm going to be running these um, quick tips um, on a regular basis. So if you want to get involved, um, I'd love to see you. If you want to come over to www.webtrafficgenerator.co.uk and then I can send you out an email and let you know when I'm doing my next quick post. So as I say, thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate it and see you soon.